everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the Coachman Apex, one of my favorite ultra, I'm calling it super ultra, ultra lightweight travel trailer. Today, we are taking a look at floor plan of a rear living with a kitchen island. This is a 2023 Coachman Apex model 293 RLDS. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Apex and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at this awesome Coachman Apex. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey guys. Guys, I'm so excited because you guys know I love my fifth wheels, but this almost kind of gives me those fifth wheel vibes, and it's because of that kitchen island. Yeah. You know, a nice big travel trailer with a kitchen island, you know, that can do it for a lot of people as well, especially since that clears up the bed of your truck. Yes, so, sir. I'm excited to show everybody. And Will, I would not agree with you, actually. I would not give this fifth wheel vibes because this is in the ultra lightweight category. But Correct. if you want to have something like a fifth wheel and you got a half ton truck, yeah. this is a great option. I mean more the size and the kitchen island. Like it's still a really good size travel trailer. Oh yeah it is baby, yes it is. Well, well let's begin. Model is 293 RLDS. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 34 feet long. It's a biggie. Yeah. Dry weight only 6,778 pounds, Will. And the hitch weight, 832 pounds. Not too bad. And this is the Coachman Apex. It's a phenomenal unit right here. Flipper power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here. Batteries go here with your spare tire, spare tire carrier. Right up front here, Will, a nice molded fiberglass front cap. Look at this awesome front windshield. LED lights here with your black diamond plate rock guard there. Nice. Coming on down the side here, we have some very nice storage. Okay. The same match doors. Manual stabilizing jacks. Okay. Very nice. Coming on down, we have a very nice power awning with LED lights. And then right here is the Lippert solid steps. Okay. Now, well, they use Aluma Cage construction for this. Right. And because it's Coachman, they use Asdell. Nice. Asdell is a composite material and it will never delaminate on you. There you go. They delaminate. Not only that, well, it does have the heated and enclosed underbelly right there. Awesome. Nice big grab handle and help you get inside. Coming on the outside speakers, and you do have power right here for people who need to charge a golf cart or just have power on the outside. Right. Right over here, I love a little Coachman puppy. What the heck? What? Is this his mouth? Look at this, look at this. Oh man. yeah. Is that his mouth or is that his mouth? Right, it's like he's got two mouths. What the heck? Right over here, we got a TV on the outside. Nice little refrigerator. Sink right here. And the fridge is right there. Sink where? Did I say sink? <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean sink. It's okay. I'm sorry, America. Don't forget but the tires too. I get distracted by the dogs. I in know. the heat, y'all. People are like, hey, Matt, are you going tanning? And I'm like, no, but I work outside in Florida. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes the heat gets to me. Look at these tires, Will. Castle Rocks, I love those. ST205-75 R14. Very nice. And then wrapping up the outside, Will, if you do need some water, here's an outdoor shower. Okay. Coming around the back, we do have a very nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Prep for the Voyager backup camera. No ladder, no hitch, no nothing. Okay. Finishing up well. Good, good, good. Amazing place to dump your tank yes, right there. I love that. And there's two dumps, but they have them like right next to each other. That's so nice because you can just quickly disconnect and reconnect to the other side. What else have we got going on there? Um, you got your furnace right there. It looks like 30 amp, yeah, no, 50 amp power. Cable, TV hookup, black tank flush, city water connection, and your 10 gallon uh, water tank right there. Very 10 gallon, nice. right? Yes, sir. And then right here is gonna be your potable water fill. Potable, potable. And then right here is the other side of storage. Cool. Something that I do like is that black tank flush has the orange there. Yes. To make sure orange is the new black. That's right. 
That's a pun. But it makes sure you don't mix your hoses. Right. Well, well, the outside of this unit's great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check out the inside. Okay. All right, starting up front is the bedroom. Right next to that is the bathroom. Then in the back is your dining area, living area, and kitchen. Where do you want to start today? We're starting right back there in the rear. Okay. Haley Deegan's texting me, y'all. Okay. I, I got to answer. Well, Chase, Haley and Chase, you know what I'm saying. Um, so let's give a big shout out to Lippert, and then we'll continue with the video. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. All right, well, back here, check this out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We have very nice storage here, easy to get to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I, I'm gonna take back what you said. It is not fifth wheel like. There is a lot of travel trailers that are fifth wheel like. I don't like the roofs here. Yeah. I'm totally fine with it, but when I think travel trailer like a fifth wheel, you know, you definitely get the bigger, taller roofs. Right. I do like the windows right here. And then right here we have a nice sofa. And it is it does trifold out to make a bed. Okay. So let's uh take a look at it. How do you feel about this black furniture? I have uh, not seen black in an RV. Yeah. I'm not crazy about it, but I also don't hate it. Okay. Now, what do you think of it? Net neutral? Oh, you don't like it? I'm just kidding. Truthfully, net neutral. Right there is the pullout. Okay. Bada bing, bada freaking boom. That is for the non paying customer. And then right there, well, if you can look at both sides, yep. there is end tables on both sides, both with power and USB on each side. Very nice. Yes, sir. And then what else is unique? Look at these individual recliners. Right. How do you feel? I think I would have rather had um, theater sec. seating. Still nice. It's still comfortable, I'm Bro, sure. This yeah. is a great unit, very comfortable. You know, you got the Insignia TV. You know what not is nice about this? What? If you are solo, you just take that out of there. True. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Put like a little dog bed on the floor. Got windows all the way around. And you're looking directly across the entertainment center. Right. Small TV, because it does have that outdoor station. Sound system right there. And then right here, Will, is a fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. Nice. And then over here, Sir William, storage underneath. Cool, cool. Underneath, storage. Nice. Windows all around. The dinette drops down to make a bed, and it's also a very nice table. And again, I love all the windows and everything about this unit. Well, well, you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. I'm curious about this one myself, Will. Yeah. Huh. MSRP on this unit here is $63,290, Will. MSRP. Miss Jen, please show the sale price to all of America so they can see what we're selling this unit for. And Will, I don't know what general selling this unit for, nor do I care, because I know with our help, we can help everybody get an even better price than what they're selling it for. That's right. So if you're interested in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. 
Link the website down below, get there from MattsRVReviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us any way you can and our team will help everybody get the best price in America. That's right. Well, is it hot in here or is it, it me? It, it's very hot in here. I need a drink. <laughs> we'll start you know what I want? Here. What? An Arnold Palmer half and half. Do they have that here? Half tea, half lemonade, I sure hope so. We'll start right over here. You got a nice um, little coffee nook, taco bar area going on. Make sure you guys, make sure you guys watch the video in two days because if I'm happy, they had it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nice backslash there, power, and again, coffee bar, taco bar, and storage underneath. And Will, what? if I'm not happy tomorrow, what's that mean? No, Ar no Arnold Palmer. No Arnold Palmer. There we go. And right over here, you have a nice high point microwave. Yes. Good backsplash, really good countertop space right there. And then some storage and drawers right here. Very nice. Here and all the way down. Back up top, storage up top there. Yes. Nice range hood. Hood range. Three burner Magic Chef cooktop. Magic Chef. With the blue lights, or okay. white lights. Yes, sir. And oven. Magic Chef. Storage underneath. Oh, I missed that. Yes, you did. I nice got your back. under there. Hey. Thank you. Hey, I got your back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Over here, nice Furion refrigerator. Yes. This is a 12 volt refrigerator, so it works off of electricity. And it cools off very quick. Yes, it does. This is what I really like about this. I'm loving it. Yeah, I love this kitchen island. Um, nice faucet, big single bowl sink right there with the insert. Plenty of countertop space and everything. And then a little bit of storage underneath. Very nice. There you go. Not only that, there's a little door on my end. Okay, and there is also on this end. Very there's nice. Power here. And a what? Tower? Power and... Oh! Psh! Mark! John Cena! There you go. Come on! All right, well, look at that fury on. Go stay under that shower. Okay. Looks a little tight, but... Um, mm. Okay, the width and the depth is actually good. Oh, man. I got about that much room above my head. Well, well, what does Vin say? This is tough. Do you know who Vin is? No. Dude, I'm telling you, Will. <laughs> Jen, if you could, can you take a clip out of every movie culture, music culture, or sports culture that, when, that Will has no clue about? Because I think it would be hilarious to make a complication. Because if people remember the Alliance paradigm, you didn't know who freaking Hank Hill was. Right. You don't know who Vin I'm is. I'm gonna pass this, I think, but it's not by much, so. But it passes, bing! <clears throat> well, the guy's name is Vin Diesel. Oh, well, I know Vin Diesel. And it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. That's right. A win's a win. <laughs> yep. Well, you need culture in your life. Right here. <laughs> Will's been keeping Calvert Country his whole life. He's <laughs> never been out of Calvert. Right here, we do have a nice mirror medicine cabinet. Um, unfortunately, that medicine cabinet cannot store our liquefied black tank treatment. Right. At least Will knows what that's about. <laughs> nice sink right here. That can store some, though. Yeah. So, we go to Chili's a lot because Will loves his the fajitas there. It's a plastic toilet, but it isn't a great placement. This is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. So, they have the little trivia game All at right. Chili's. And so Jen and I, we're always crushing that, right? Yeah. And Will is just like, yay. <laughs> I do go with geography. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Right over here, Will, we do have tons of storage all the way around. <laughs> I'm like, it's Marco Polo, 1863. I don't know that. No. Storage there. Yep. Nice side table with power and USB. Yep. Nice window uh, right power there. window there. Storage above there. Okay. And more storage there. There you go. You know, we had a phenomenal trivia night at um at the Matt's RV Reviews rally. We did, yeah. Unfortunately. Was your dryer prep? Or no? No. Okay. TriviaMaker.com tainted my feelings towards I know, because they kept charging. They kept charging my account even though I canceled it. <laughs> so I sued them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I disputed the charges. And it's just like, there's really nice storage here. And then look right there, power and USB over there. Right. 
And it's just like, it was such a good app and I had no problem paying the 150 bucks to use it. But not The one month. time, but not every month. Right. TV backer here. And you know what it did? Well, it tainted my experience with that. I, I know. But it really was one of the coolest trivia features I've ever seen. Yep. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it, Will. What do we do first? Three things we like. Yes. Mix it up a little. Yes. Okay. First thing I like, that little entertainment center on the outside. Yep. You know, it, it it's not good, but it's also not a bunkhouse unit. This is yeah. a couples coach. So to I have agree. something like that, I think it's really cool. That's number one. Number two? Number two, I'm giving it to the kitchen island. Yes, sir. It's a really nice big kitchen island for a travel trailer. Yep. And um, you don't see kitchen islands in travel trailers a lot. Yep. That's number two. And Will, I'm going to mix it up some. Okay. I'm going to say the shower size. Okay. You know why? Why? Because this unit, there is a lot of everything that I'm seeing, it's small. Small living room, small roof, small this, small that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But for the shower to still be good, I thought the shower would have been small as well. So I'm giving them props to that. Okay. That's three things we love about it, Will. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. May I go first? Sure. Did you notice this door? Yeah, very small. Right, you have to go in sideways. Well, the camera heated up, but the whole thing was, how do I even fit sideways? And then you were insulting me as the camera All right. went off, like, how can I even fit sideways? All right. Thanks, friend. <laughs> That's uh, dislike number one. Well, what's dislike number two? Dislike number two, um, personally, and I know I'm stealing yours, but you I are. wish that they did. So wait, PMC. first, no, 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 no. First you insult me, then you steal my dislike. Yep. Go ahead. I wish that they did theater seating instead of those two recliner chairs. Yep. But nope. I can do number three if you want. Talk to me. Number three is the carpet and the slide specifically under that dinette. Yep. And I'm going to combo that with this like weird kind of fireplace. I don't situation. like that fireplace either. Weird? Yep. Oh, because open the refrigerator. Ah, uh, I didn't even think about that. I know you didn't. Boom. I didn't like that either. I, I don't like how it's sticking out right there. Yep. I don't know what it is about it. Well, but I'm not liking it. I hear you. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you to GoPro for once again, overheating on us. Yes. Halfway through. If you guys are interested mm. in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's cash. Fill out the contact form. A member of our team will get you the absolute best price in America on this RV or any RV. Or call 844-969-4033. Will, what do you have to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, again, I really like bringing in different floor plans. And this is a this is a really good couples trailer. It with is. With tons of um, seating in the rear. Amazing unit for the weight. Yes, especially for the weight. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much you. for watching. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.